All right, folks, the deck is Weasel Priest. The goal of the deck is to shuffle a bunch of Weasel Tunnelers and Albatrosses into our opponent's deck so that their draws are terrible, shuffle them back into our own deck so that we can... No, that's not what we're doing. And then eventually whittle away at their health total or win with Rivendare War Rider. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Ooh. Whiz Bang looked cool. I haven't actually looked closely at what he does yet, but, like... I'm glad that they brought something like Whiz Bang back to the uh, standard rotation. Kind of want to find, um, yeah, insights. Even getting an early dead ringer is pretty important for this deck. Probably just go shadow visions, maybe try and find a palm reading or, or something along those lines. And then go bad luck albatross. Could corrupt both of those, but I think just a palm reading is a good card to get multiple copies of. It takes pride to look this oh no. Uh, that means it's very likely just Alignment Druid, which I don't have a great chance against. Identity Theft, maybe? Yeah, welcome, Kira. Ugh. If it is alignment, this is not a good matchup. Unless it's Mecha Thun, in which case they cannot ever win. That would be ideal. So let's see if we can get some information on that front. Or we could just make a four mana 6-6. Six, six. That's unfortunate for me. Alright. Well, GG, I guess. Cost one mana though. Maybe an argument that I should Psychic Scream stuff into their deck, but that get, leaves me with, like, actually no win condition. Yeah, oh, welcome, Air Hater. I can't hold all these. Ar <laughs> you have got to be out of your mind.
They're gonna overdraw one card this game and it's going to be that. All right. Surely I'm not dead here. This must be the way. Yeah, it resets the Mali cost, it resets the gun cost, resets everything. That said, they probably have a second alignment. You are safe now. So I do probably still want to win quickly. They probably do need to kill me here from 40 with one mana crystal. Still just dead on board. There's no card that can save them. This is not how we're supposed to win games, let alone this particular matchup. <laughs> All right. That ferocious howl saved. The, the I did say the identity theft. Seems like they might have made a mistake. I think it was maybe more than uh, than singular mistake was the issue there. Horsemen hit hard. Yeah. Me when I venture into the restricted woods in Harry Potter. Also, me when I'm infantry in the Revolutionary War. And I see cavalry for the first time. Uh, let's look for the two mana cards. Okay. The weasel's just always coming back. Also me when I'm a pawn on chess board, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Can you imagine? What? They can move like an L? <laughs> what is this? Witchcraft. See, that's how I demonstrate how smart I am to chat. I know that the horsey moves like an L in chess. Bet you didn't know I was an intellectual like that. Impressive. I just unshuffled their shuffle. Speaking of. Rawful, are you INTJ? Uh, no, I'm a psych major. Uh, so I took that uh, assessment and then immediately learned why it's not a useful tool. And promptly forgot my results. Oh, hey, they drew the weasel. Horses IRL move in L's too? Yeah, that's why they have to make the horse racing tracks look so weird. Go for a Mara in hand or don't because of rat possibility. Uh, the opponent's not running a rat in this deck. This is a, it's an aggressive deck. Hey, welcome back, Gold Mamba. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Well, on the bright side, that'll maybe bait more people into playing Steam Cleaner in Steam Lock, or Sludge Lock, and then they'll lose more games. So that's pretty cool. Taranda versus the Lich King. Oh, I forgot my coffee. What am I doing with my life? Will serve me. Now let's send this weasel back for a moment and then keep the uh, shadow visions. We're looking for insights off of the Shadow Visions. There's a Renathal in their deck. Seems promising.
All right. I grant you permission to speak. Ah, uh, you're not my supervisor. No, welcome, Agent Orange. This one. Just because we're about to hit a minion with this, and then we can uh, give it the old power word shield. No, welcome, Frisky. Uh, I grant you permission to play the video game. One more death can't hurt. There we go. It works. Weasel. They're excavating. Which does mean Reska could be a bit of a liability. Or Rivendare could be a bit of a liability with the Reska, but eh. Hey, welcome, Lex. Always scream that back into the deck. It doesn't even have to be the first iteration, but eventually I can scream it back into the deck so that it uh, like doesn't get brought back to life. I think we could just go ahead and psychic stream this though. figure out what we want to do next turn. I, I do want to develop the Rivendare. The time has come to throw but I was under a bit of pressure there. Freddie Mercury could relate even. Oh I'll god. Teach you how to cook the books. Okay. Season your books generously on both sides, then into 450 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, but what do we season it with? That's that's an incomplete uh that's a half-baked recipe. Thank you anyway, uh Oxford.
Triple ammo. It's nice of the opponent to run a copy of Astalor for me. It does remind me I need to like start think gathering my tax documents. So that I can shred them, obviously. I don't want the government knowing what I've been doing with my money. What gives them the right? It sure doesn't seem that your time is little. Seems maybe like something else is, though. That brand has gotta go. I'm just uh, trying to give myself an opportunity to um, draw into a seance, which I'm now realizing probably should be a harmonic or a, I don't know, the, the newer version of it, but like, I don't know, nostalgia and all that. Our gift of frost. I wasn't trying to, buddy. You got to let the IRS know how much Waffle Incorporated made with that completely legal selling of drinks. Yeah, it's like you said, completely legal. I'm doing a service. Should be well compensated for it. Thank you, Lex. Somebody understands. I mean, that's just kind of funny, right? Welcome, Star Sorelli. Is the Death Knight Kobold the well, neutral excavate Kobold? Huh? The chatter means the Skeleton Kobold is the dead version of the neutral cards. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for helping me understand that. A charming composition. I speak brain want no worries, yeah. Didn't realize I needed a translator. 
for an English speaking stream. Why are you still going base? Oh, okay, that's why. Well, that clears the board for the Zanoff, which we can then follow up with the, uh, the Ticketus. And then maybe we save the Seance for the Ticketus now. Also, the Ticketus and the Amara will come back here, so that's another opportunity to, uh, to bounce them, I suppose. Burb is a word. No, you are mistaken. It is, in fact, the word. That's the thing. They won't, if we do this properly. Thank you, Oxford bro. Trade this first, see what we get. I should probably start developing these. Turn away. Because they are cards that do something, whereas Ticketus is a card that does not something. And something is better than nothing. opponent is sleeping on their keyboard, Lamau. No, you don't understand. See, uh, Raffle, because you let the rope burn for half a second when you were grabbing coffee, you actually deserve this and are just, and the opponent is justified in taking three times as long as you this game. See, we expect it from opponents? Yeah, I should know better. The thing is, like, when I leave, I'm legitimately doing an exam of a very critical and important version of the trolley problem where, like, the, <laughs> the decision is, do I waste my opponent's time so that, uh, you know, they lose a few seconds of uh, game time to waiting, watching you know, me do nothing, or do I waste, you know, the few hundred people in chat's time with nothing, with no keys to jingle in front of their eyes on the screen for a few minutes. So really, what I can say is, like, you always pull the lever, obviously. I just solved the trolley problem. You're welcome. I'll have you know, in addition to being a psych major, major, I took a handful of philosophy classes, so clearly I'm an expert. Like, I don't know why the philosophers didn't just ask me all those centuries ago. Like, it's easy. 
Wow thanks so much, I'm a trolley driver hurtling down the tracks to five people tied down, and you taught me that the solution to this is to just start <laughs> streaming on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Gotta tell you, your viewers won't be bored. Right. Dead Ringer is a pretty important card for getting this deck online, so we do want to try and mulligan for him as soon as possible. I don't believe in philosophy, I just think about things really hard and decide how they are from the base elements. Uh, it sounds like you'd make a great podcast host. That's why it took so long to solve the trolley problem. Twitch wasn't invented until 2007. That's a, yeah, that's a big limiting factor. Okay, now it's making sense. I wish that Justin guy had gotten on things sooner. Job done. I guess he was just in time. <laughs> By the Ascended. My Hello. You know, it's not a battle cry menu. Those birds. Billions died completely preventable deaths because Justin was wasting his time going to Yale or something. No, he's a tech entrepreneur. <laughs> I can't imagine he went to school. <laughs> I should probably fact check that. What am I, some kind of responsible journalist? Weirdly, Justin actually graduated from Yale. Literally the only tech entrepreneur to ever do so. All right. Well, I would issue a correction, but as an American, I'm just going to double down on my beliefs and say, I don't believe you. Which Justin are we talking about? Justin Dot Television, uh, the inventor of live streaming. They actually uh, made a biopic about him um, before he was even born possibly no before he created uh justin.tv called the truman show it's really impressive how they're able to like bend space and time for that doesn't the dot tv stand for tuvalu no that's just what the liberal media wants you to think i can't, I can't believe you'd fall for their lies like that What, Twitch.Tuvalu? What are you thinking? Of course not. It's Twitch.Television. Everyone knows that. Uh, Justice Grady, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I would appreciate it if you stopped spamming uh, advertisements for Justin.TV. Uh, thank you for the bits, though.
<clears throat> Is Raffle moving to Justin.tv? Yeah, I gotta strike when the iron's hot. Is someone there? I'm gonna have to ask that they like change the uh the domain name because my I'm I'm not Justin. Well met. Six months of watching. Time waits for no one. I appreciate that, uh, JV. Thank you for these six months. Professor Roffel, how many Justins did your liver commit tax fraud on your birthday? And can you make me one too? Hold on. Uh, correct pronunciation of Justin just unlocked? <laughs> what was... <laughs> In what world is... <laughs> Where was Brian born? I need to see his birth certificate. <laughs> hey, welcome, Daily. Uh, the numbers on these minions just do not line up. Which is unfortunate. Rothel is a Brian birth truther. It, yeah. Here's the real truth that, again, the liberal media doesn't want you to know. Brian wasn't born at all. He just, like, spawned into existence. Kind of like at the start of a video game when that happens. That's where Brian's come from. How American of you, someone says something a little different than you, and you immediately ask for their birth certificate. I just solved something. Justin went to Yale. I think Brian just exposed our dear founder as the convict he always was. Uh-oh. We're gonna move on for that and pretend like nothing was just revealed. I'm no snitch. Uh, I think by American you mean true patriot, by the way. Now show me your birth certificate. And maybe those like three digits on the back of your credit card. This Anka is kind of nutty. Students, today's class will be outside. Look at the value chat. The value. I'm a simple ruffle chatter. I believe in three things: truth, justice, and that tax evasion is cool. You know what's even cooler than tax evasion? Uh, is you're paying your taxes on time and supporting public works. Vote Roffle 2024. Roffle, what does the tax code in your country of origin say about bits? Is this just a tax write-off? Uh-oh. Uh, bad things just happened. Hold on, I need to process this. Um, I think only in Texas would it be a tax write-off, and a rather big one at that. Rest easy, child. You are safe now. We might have a problem. Look, just because my win condition is completely gone. Doesn't mean we have a problem. Stay alert, my children. Dangerous. We'll just rely on a comma primes now. For a master tactician, this is not. 
Oh no, they just doubled the stats of those weasels. Average chatter here, destroying the chat with donations is funny. It was funny the last time we did it, and it will be funny the next time we do it. I agree. But also, I'm, like, rewarded financially for agreeing, so. Uh, and actually, like, based on the response from the YouTube comments, it's a, obviously a little bit split, but I think those in favor uh, were still in the majority, so. It's called democracy. We invented it here in the United States, and we expect everyone else to follow our rules. So, sucks to suck. Why so large? I need a psychic scream or something. Is democracy contagious? Should I see a doctor? Yeah, you're gonna want to get vaccinated those in against favor it. In the comments had 12 likes. All those against had 12 dislikes. I personally made sure of that. <laughs> Got him. How the turns have tabled. Ruffle demanding our pins and SSNs, philosophizing, and offering free and valuable tax advice. Up is down. It's true. It's true. The times really have been a change and Bob Dole was right. Uh, thank you, Colin. No one will believe this. If you understood that Bob Dole reference, it's time to schedule your colonoscopy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I need to call my doctor. <laughs> thank you, Eric. Or Collie. That was Collie. I'm losing track. <laughs> Maybe I need to call my neurologist. <laughs> the time has come. Oh no! My favorite thing is about the these donations is I can write them on my tax return, but it and turned out to, to be a real taxes. pain in the butt. <laughs> Those were both good jokes too. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric and Collie, for torturing me once again. didn't get drawn. I got scammed. I can heal I mean, as many times as I want here. Colonoscopies are now a permanent addition to the Rawful Extended Universe. You're welcome. Thanks. I mean, I'm sure you're providing a good service. How in the world have I encountered two steam cleaners today? Oh, 
Our liver retrieval service is a professional covert operation, we'll always go to the back door. Thank you, Kali. I knew that one was from without even looking. Uh, Zanoth doesn't do enough here. It needs to be a psychic scream. I don't have any minions left? Who built this deck? Oh right, they just destroyed them all with a steam cleaner. We get an Amara back from this, is why it's going down here. Bottom 10 cards are just, are my psychic scream and a hysteria as well. I didn't hit a taunt minion? Unbelievable. Well met. Hey, Ruffle, it's me, the Hi. evil witch that cursed you with 100 years of bad luck. That curse expired last year. You really need to get this checked out. Uh-oh. I will call my, uh, my local warlock then, I guess. Thank you, Kali, for the heads up. And thank you, Joe, for the 38 months. I, I cannot do that. Alright, time to find out what strange and nonsensical tech card I lose to this time. Oh, it's just King Spain. <laughs> Here, have some birds. Not King's Band. Another one of these seems fine. Convert was also a reasonable look, but... Oh, okay, it's Cutlass, sure. This'll be a fun game, actually. Weasel. Ruffle, it's me, your deliver liver deliverer, and some cops drove by while I was pouring livers in the liver hole. I think they saw my truck labeled Ruffle Livers. What do I do? Uh, listen to my instructions and not provide any clear descriptors of the business that we're doing. I don't know. It's not a live, a deliver liver deliverer. It's just a deliver, you know? Gotta be discreet. Thank you, though, Star Swirling. I'll check the uh, the liver hole.
Which I think is what, like, uh, Liver King just calls his mouth. This doesn't give me value yet, but I do have an Azoth. I don't know. I could consider it. Or I could just play the Weasel. I'm going to lose my mind. Is this three games in a row? This is just getting outrageous. I'm so excited for this year's holiday party. I got some organ themed tinsel for the decorations. It'll be lively live a livery live at the delivery. Yes, that was in fact main deck. Also, I just had a stroke from Kali's message. Please, hospital. This is so stupid, man. I mean, what realistically are people even targeting with Stream Cleaner right now? I'm sure the- They're- That's the same deck! It's the same deck that- <laughs> It makes even less sense now. At least it was an early Steam Cleaner? Yeah, it was an early Steam Cleaner because they're running a card that makes Steam Cleaner make no sense! Steam is in line with the stream where you ran into six sticky fingers when you were playing Spectral Cutlass Rogue, yeah. Don't worry, the YouTube comments will uh, justify it for us and then we won't have to think about the reason behind it. I do that in my druid too. I just make sure I use it before shuffling good stuff in. YouTube chatters beat the YouTube commenters to it. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Sometimes science does go too far. Ruffle, did you secretly arrange to face these decks just to enrage us? Come on, you can admit it. This is a safe space. Don't you understand? This is enraging me more! <laughs> uh, the 4-4 is a Dream Petal Florist. The old school activator for the Togwaggle combo. Wow, that was really cool. I personally run Steam Cleaner whenever I play Files of Zinaz Shari. Not on purpose. It <laughs> just always ends up being the first card off the top. Yeah. I mean, you're blameless in that one, but I've been there. Thank you, Kali. We are 
No, you're three. I thought I couldn't count. Jeez. Sure are some animations, aren't they? Hello, streamer. Hi. I am sending these bits because the funny TTS voice will read these words out. In fact, the TTS voice is saying these words right now. And this word. Oh gosh, I'm in a loop. Rovel. Oh no, the TTS knows your name. I am the TTS. Who am I? What is life? Do I have feelings? Is the TTS in the room with us right now? Thank you, Toasted Hazelnut. Phenomenal value. Bird. Weasel. Yes. Quick chat. Well, Raffle is distracted. Everyone, run. I'm not distracted. You're distracted. Wait, we're playing Hearthstone. Huh. Okay. Okay. Please concede now that maybe. Maybe in this deck, the steam cleaner doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Can we, can we agree, finally? Maybe it's not the most logical card inclusion here. Give no ground on this. Steam Cleaner belongs in the opponent's deck because it was funny when they played it. No. No. I can't believe you would betray me like that, Kali. Psychic scream Amaru into their deck. It never backfires, I promise. I mean, honestly, it probably wouldn't in this situation. <laughs> Just because I'm not trying to kill them with damage anyway. Wait, why did that- what? Oh, their deck is full! They've shuffled too many- <laughs> Oh my god. They... They learned ab... They... They didn't learn. I was wondering about that interaction. I knew the interaction, I just didn't... Realize their deck was full. I forgot. When is Dr. Roffel's birthday? Memorial Celebrity Colonoscopy and Liver Awareness Pro-Am Fun Run Race from Tax Law Enforcement Officers and Selling Nuclear Secrets. Are you just typing Google searches into chat again? <laughs> What's going on? You don't have to pay to... Well, 
Thanks. For Happy birthday. I can't be funny is the only metric for determining if it is good. Steam cleaner is great. Like a rare steak cooked in butter with salt and pepper. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Thank you, Benno. It's the resident chef. I guess I have to take your opinion on, or expert opinion on the matter. Uh, I think this summons quite a few things thanks to the uh, Rodden being in there. This dies, but um, there's nothing left on board to buff. Ruffle, will you concede in that the Steam Cleaner is good in that rogue deck if you lose the match? No. Can the cops lie to you when they say that they're proud of you for making a good macaroni art picture of their chief Reddit legal advice? <laughs> yes, unfortunately the cops can lie to you in any context. It's unreal. Even if it hurts your feelings. That's a lot of ribbon dares. Thank you, Colleen. Bird. Life and hope are <laughs> At least that's there's no world in which that is active. <laughs> Blamo. for something that will deep clean my carpeting, preferably with really hot water. Any suggestions? No, there's no such card. Ruffle, if this deck beats you, will you concede that Steam Cleaner is the one true god and sell all your earthly possessions to donate to the Church of Steam Cleaner? Maybe. As long as it's a tax write-off. Look, I could end the game right now. And I think I'm going to because this is hell for me. I need to get out of this. Now I don't have to concede anything about Steam Cleaner.